Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife Kara is running around in the background, and you already know what kind of knives we are checking out today. Now, I want you to go in that bag and find my wallet. Which one is it? It's the one that says bad motherfucker. That's my bad motherfucker. So, starting this top 10 list off is the Riat K2. This is a Riat knife, an S35 VN blade steel. It looks like a Japanese um, katana with its Japanese tanto blade. Hollow ground, flat ground up here. Very deep hollow grind right here. Great slicer. Amazing ergos. And the Riat K2 has some incredible incredible action the detent is so well tuned nice big stop pin and yeah just an amazing amazing knife let's get to the next one some of these might have two knives in the same category like the ferrum forge fortis and the fair the the we knives malice which is you know a ferrum forge design you can see the ferrum forge design logo right there both of these knives are absolutely amazing the action on these guys are stupid good this one's actually in for sharpening but I had to get a video out of it if not a couple <laughs> while it's here but yeah this thing, the Malice, has incredible, incredible action. So smooth. And you have a perfectly well-tuned detent for the reverse flick or, or the, um, the flipper tab. Same thing with this one. Amazing ergos and just incredibly well-made knives. Titanium frame locks. This one's in S35 V on blade steel. And then this one's in 20 CV. Or sorry, M390. Same thing though. Same thing. Look at that drop. Oh, it's so smooth. And the Fortis here, the Ferrum Forge Fortis. Same thing. Very, very smooth. Next up, we have the Chris Reeves Knives Sabenza. Now, very luxuriously smooth. Smooth on the phosphor bronze washers. And I actually have my thumb stud in that I'm going to replace this one with. The one problem is, though, is that it was supposed to be a double-sided thumb stud. They sent me a single-sided thumb stud, but... Uh, we'll see how it goes, but the Chris Reeve knife Sabenza, I mean, this is very iconic. Most people know this knife very, very well, but just in case, S35VN, drop point blade, nice hollow ground, deep hollow grind, tall hollow grind that cuts very well. Titanium frame lock. This one has the wood inlays, but they come with all different kinds of options. Luxuriously smooth. USA made. A lot of the knives on this list are USA made. Not all of them, but a lot of them are. Next up, the Q or uh, the Quest Custom Gent. Beautiful, beautiful knife. This one's an S35 VN blade steel, carbon fiber inlay, marbled carbon fiber, titanium frame lock, amazing flipping action. Very, very smooth on the drop. It does not have a lock bar insert. It is just a titanium frame lock. I can thumb flick it, but I cannot reverse flick it. They just don't give you the access on the other side. But the flipping action is incredible. Nice deep hollow grind, ground blade. They call this a Warncliffe, the Warncliffe Gent, but this is more of a sheep's foot in my opinion. And yeah, great knife. Quest Custom Warncliffe Gent is the name. 
Next up, the Shuro Goroff knives. We have the F3R with white carbon fiber, titanium liners that are as thick as a frame lock, titanium clip, M390 steel, very thin behind the edge. This one's on double row bearings or multi row bearings. The action is stupid good. Best ergos I've ever felt on a knife. And then we have the F95 monkey edge frag pattern with triple row bearings, also known as multi row bearings. Amazing ergos, beautiful frag pattern. And yeah, extremely, extremely good action. Love these knives so much. These are incredibly, incredibly well-made knives. The Shuro Goroff knives, the F3R and the F95 frag pattern. Next we have the Demco AD15 and the Demco AD20. Now the AD20, this is a recording I have right now. It's at Stasa 23's house. So I just have a recording of it, but nevertheless, it's an amazing, amazing badass knife, especially with the shark lock. And then you have the AD15, which has the scorpion lock. Both of them in 20 CV steel. Really good Urgos. Both of them are really amazing. And Demco knives. Um, what an amazing knife maker, designer, lock designer. I mean, he's just so innovative. And yeah, what a badass knife. Knives. -a. Next, we have the Microtech SOCOM Elite tactical knife. This one's in M or 204P steel, same thing as like M390 or 20CV, and aluminum handles, titanium liner lock, some of the best thumb stud action you will find on a knife. Just um, deploying this knife, it almost sounds like you're racking a gun. The acoustics, the action, everything is amazing on this knife. The detent is very clicky, and these nice big thumb suds also act as a stop pin. Great, great knife. This one is the American Tonto. Very, very smooth. Very solid knife. Next we have... The Spartan Harsey with the Mayan calendar, S35VN blade steel titanium frame lock. Mine's gotten very, very smooth. It is on washers. Definitely a hard juice knife. Great ergos. Definitely an overbuilt knife. Beautiful knife. I do have a review on this. I got a review on most of these knives. If not, I got the review coming up. Two more to go, or three more to go. That We might have went over 10, but we'll say three more. The Harukas Blomerus knife. This one is custom made for Shaker MT. This is a South African made knife. The acoustics are so, so good. And if you look at this thing, it is so gorgeous. Everything on it is well, well done. I have not reviewed this one yet, so definitely keep your eyes out watching for the review on this knife. Beautifully well made custom knife. And like I said, the review will be coming soon on this beautiful, beautiful knife within the next couple days. Next, Hinder XM24 and or 
the Hinder XM18. Both of these are badass knives. I mean, this one's beautifully well executed with the titanium. This one's got a titanium um, scale instead of like G10 or carbon fiber or micarta. I also have a scale for in micarta that can go on this one. The XM24 is an absolute beast. False shut action. These ones are on the triway system. But yeah, fantastic, amazing USA made knives made by Rick Hinder or Hinder Knives. The Hinder XM18 and the Hinder XM24. They also come in many different blade shapes, and there's also a three inch version that we also have, but we didn't pull it out for this video. And last but not least, the we have well, we have a threefold here, but we have the Medford Slim Midi Marauder with the beautiful falling leaf anno work S35VN on bearings amazing amazing action on this one titanium frame lock then we have the medford infraction also an s35 vn titanium frame lock this one's also a flipper and we got the big daddy the USMC Fighter by Medford. And you can see the size difference there. I mean, this thing is an absolute beast of a knife. I do have a review that recently went up on this one. This one's also an S35VN. Blade steel, titanium, and it's supposed to be like a K-bar, a folding K-bar, basically. And he actually makes the USMC Fighter fixed blade. This is the USMC Fighter folder or flipper. All these knives are really, really extremely well built. Amazing designs. All three of them have hollow grinds. This one being the thinnest. Extremely thin behind the edge. Nice thin blade stock. Great ergos. It's very slim in the pocket. Unlike a lot of his knives that are really, really overbuilt. This one I have in for sharpening, but I had to get a video out of it. And than the beast. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.